Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to get steps to install the new DeepSeq chatbot AI as an app on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. By now, you probably already know that DeepSeq is a new language model that reportedly beats Google's Gemini and OpenAI's ChatGPT in a number of tasks at a fraction of the cost. Although this new chatbot has native apps for Android and iPhone, it lacks of an app for Windows 11 and 10. But you can still install the web version of the chatbot on your computer if you use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Sorry, Firefox users, but the browser doesn't support progressive web app for installation on Windows, so this video is specific for Chrome and Edge users. Okay, let's down to steps to install DeepSeq on your computer. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first, we're going to try to install DeepSeq using Microsoft Edge. And to do that, first, you need to go to chat.deepseq.com. Of course, if this is the first time that you're logging in, you will have to create an account with a chatbot. Now, it doesn't require a subscription, but in order to use it, you have to register. Once you're signed up and sign in, then you need to go to the main menu for Microsoft Edge. And from here, just go to apps and then click the install this site as an app. From here, you can leave the default settings, but you can customize the name and then just click the install button. Now, this is optional, but if you want the app to be pinned to the start menu or the taskbar, just click the allow button. And then click yes. And as you can see right now, we have DeepSeq installed on Windows 11 and the same steps are going to work on Windows 10. Once you close it, you can see that it's pinned right here on the taskbar. And if we open the start menu, we are going to find the app right here installed. Now, if you no longer want to use this application, what you can do is open Microsoft Edge and then go to the main menu, go to apps, and then view apps from here open the menu and click on manage apps then click on details and then click the uninstall button but before i click that button i want to show you that if we do a search for the app on the start menu we're also going to see the uninstall option if we right click on it and you will also see the option to uninstall when you do the search and the app is selected by default you're going to see the option right here another way that we can remove the app is by going to the settings app then go to apps install apps Let's look for deep thick and from here we can uninstall the app and as you can see that's no longer installed on microsoft edge now if you are a google chrome user just open the browser go to chat.deepseek.com sign in and then when you are on this page open the main menu then open the cast save and share sub menu and choose the install page as app here you can customize the name and then just click the install button and that's it and now we have the chatbot ai installed as an app on windows 11 the steps will also work on windows 10. now the setup using google chrome is a little bit different than using microsoft edge so if you want to pin the app you have to right click on the icon and click the pin to taskbar however when we install the chatbot through chrome it also registered with the start menu so if we do a search we're also going to find it right here. If you no longer need the application, you can search for it from the start menu. And from here, you can click the uninstall button. You can right click on it and also select the uninstall option, or we can go to settings and then from apps, install apps. We're going to see that the app is right here and we can proceed to remove it. Another way that you can do this is by going to Chrome apps. And from here, you can right click and uninstall the app. And that's it. Those are two quick ways that you can use to install the new DeepSeq chatbot AI on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. And we also looked at the steps to remove the application from the computer. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new chatbot. And also let me know in the comments the type of content that you would like me to cover more on the channel. And remember to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.